Yeah, in the practice game versus Leicester, say he didn't play that well, but he he's been off form for an Indian. Country. Do you want to bring in uh, Mayank Agarwal straight away from the flight, or you want to give a chance to some other person? Batting order looks a bit shaky because most of these players, they haven't really played in England, haven't really played in the overseas conditions, you know, and uh, he just looks very inexperienced. players playing out of their own you know regular positions right so it looks like That's a big correct. problem the pointing news of rohit sharma we have been hit with that and what are your views of appointing jaspreet bumrah the captaincy ahead of in my opinion ahead of virat kohli in this three test match we have been playing relatively attacking cricket as a sphere of fitness and they have been playing really attacking cricket in england under the, the coaching of Brendan McCallum they have been scoring at least a run rate of over 4 runs per over and I remember as you were speaking about the covid hit disappointing news of Rohit Sharma we have been hit with that and what are your views of appointing Jaspreet Bumrah the captaincy ahead of in my opinion ahead of Virat Kohli well, I mean picking someone new is uh, always going to be a challenge especially against a team like England right now right you know they are so strong and you know they are they defeated 3-0 against New Zealand right so they wiped washed them completely and this is looking like a completely new England and for India to have like a fast bowler as a captain it's very rare first of all for India to have any bowler as a captain right so going to be interesting one but i would also gone with virat kohli he started off the That's series point or just end it right but anyway he wouldn't accept it you know he just That's gave it correct. up yeah. he wouldn't do it and you know bumrah is the vice captain so that's an automatic choice right there so we can't do anything about it that that's correct but i think that's that's a 30 person handing over the match to england right because it's not just rohit sharma uh, being the captain being the leader of the side but he as an opener is also important seeing of the new ball because uh, 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 personally i don't have much confidence of chiteshwar pujara seeing of the new ball as well uh, because with the current form though he has been good in the county season for for which team i don't remember which team he's been playing for but um, still like uh, for india in the practice game was less to say he didn't play that well but he, he's been off form for in indian colors and i i don't back him much but we do not have any other choice but we definitely have to play him at number 3 but should you do you want to bring in uh, mayank agarwal straight away from the flight or you want to give a chance to some other person the likes of hanuma bihari of bharat I mean, Vihar and Bharat both performed uh, well, especially Bharat. He performed very well in the practice game, right? He, he looks good, so I, he's going to be in my eleven. I I want Vihar instead of Pujara, as you said. Pujara looks to be really out of touch here since the past one or two years, and Vihar, he's still picking up, and he looks to be good. He's that kind of like a player who just waits for the moment to go for the right shots, and you know, Pujara is just here and there all the time. He's not looking, you know. confident when he walks out onto the pitch so you know india have these all problems around there on the back foot against this side england you know like we don't have the right opening we don't have rohit or kl so people are saying i think toi said kujara might open now uh, with uh, shubman gill i don't know what what's going to happen with chetas for kujara so he's going to play that's for sure so there's no uh, taking him out Uh, maybe Mayank Agarwal might come in at a three or four because Pujara is playing at opening. If they say that, right? So, uh, so Mayank at three, obviously Virat at four, maybe Bharat at five, Vihari at six, Jadeja at seven. But still, this batting order looks a bit shaky because most of these players, they haven't really played in England, haven't really played in the overseas conditions, you know, and uh, it just looks very inexperienced. players playing out of their own you know regular positions right so it looks like that's a big correct. problem going in bowling is sorted that's all fine with four paces one spin attack i think that's going to be fine enough for england but the batting it's very skeptical this is looking like the old england uh, for india at the moment you know this can collapse any time and the thing is that uh, we are lucky enough that in terms of the bowling unit of england we do not have the likes of robinson chris wokes who threatened us last time we have this new looking uh, bots who, who i don't think so is going to threaten us much but we never know new people always start harm, uh, harming us so 
that's going to be but the more, most important challenge will be seeing out the first 10 overs of the new ball of broad and anderson and that's where i do not have much confidence on um, chitish or pujara i would have definitely loved the the confidence and definitely loved rohit sharma but unfortunately we have to take it in our chin and start forgetting rohit sharma I was part of the indian squad for the test test match right yeah, I mean, Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul do have a fantastic record. I mean, last time they played, I think last year, right? KL Rahul, he was smashing all those runs. And Rohit Sharma, he got his first, uh, I think, century outside of India, right? So, he looks, they, they both look to be good in England. And especially even if you look at the 2019 World Cup, right? They both look to be good in England as well. So, if you take all those into consideration, they both would have been the perfect openers. Doesn't matter if it's T20 ODI or Test, they were the perfect openers for India in any format when you're playing in England. But that's now what we have now. And as I said before, this is going to be a very skeptical lineup because, you know, openers are the main stand for us. And if they're not the people, you know, to just take care of this lineup and they're playing out of position, like as I said, Chetis for Pujara and all, right? It's going to be a huge problem for India. So, mm -hmm. as I said, the bowling is fine, but the batting, it's uh, not good at all. That's correct because in this point you mentioned is absolutely correct. They're playing all, all of them are playing out of position. Like not all, but majority of them. We do not. We are missing the experience of Rahane, Rahul, uh, Rohit Sharma, and also one more point. We do understand we need an attack of four places for plus one spinner. But uh, another form we are looking into is the form of Shardul Thakur, and that's where another thing I would consider is. Do you want the experience of Ravi Ashwin coming in the team or do you still want to go ahead with Shadul Thakur as a fourth seamer? Uh, I mean, uh, my lineup would be like uh, Shami, uh, who is it? Shami, Bumrah, Siraj and Shardul. And uh, I don't really see Jadeja being that useful because even with the bat in England, he hasn't been that useful. And even if you see the last four tests that he played, I think three or four tests that he played, he wasn't good at all with the ball or the bat. Against New Zealand in the WTC finals, he wasn't useful at all. He was not even giving the minimal extra runs of like 10 or 20 runs at the back end. And he wasn't really taking wickets consistently and he was going at a, a pretty high economy if you're looking into the, like in the test matches, right? So, uh, Ashwin as well, he's really not good in those overcast conditions like England. And all right, and West Indies, those kind of uh, overcast conditions, and it's the spinner option is again lacking for us in the overseas conditions. Uh, most likely, they will go with Jadeja. They are gonna look at the batting depth as well, and just batting maybe depth. like a normal part-time kind of option for a spinner because England usually, you know, produces a lot of pace bowling tracks, right? So, I think they might just go with Jadeja instead of Ashwin. Uh, I, again, this is also looking pretty much skeptical if you're talking about the spinners uh, as well. So, don't know what's going to happen. The paces are fine, but again, the batting and the spinners now, let's just add that together. It's not looking really good at the moment. And I believe this, uh, this, this series between India and New England and New Zealand, in the second test or the first test was played at the age batsman, right? So, it's a used pitch, if I'm not wrong. But the thing is that um, I, I do understand, but the thing is, with uh, New Zealand, they did not have a genuine spinner to attack the England attack. But we have Ashwin and that's where I I rate Ashwin more higher than Jadeja. Is that Jadeja needs help from the pitch, but Ashwin doesn't. Ashwin can straight away come and chip in and trouble the bowlers, even if he doesn't get spin. That's the experience which Ashwin has. So, I wouldn't be surprised if India goes with three paces and two spinners. But uh, the thing is that... that I would really, really um, hope that India does um, go ahead with the four paces and a spin and sorts out who's going to be the spinner. Yeah, I mean, we tried that two spinners, three paces option, like you said, in the WTC finals. Right? It didn't work out not at all. You know, Ashwin wasn't all doing well, Jadeja wasn't doing well, and New Zealand, they went with five paces and they just dominated us throughout the whole game, right? So, as I said, the spinners aren't working in England. Now, that it's just going to be a pacer attack as of now. So, it doesn't really matter who comes in, Ashwin or Jadeja. I said, Ashwin might have a bit more help because, you know, he has the experience. He has the knowledge to do it. But again, it might not really help at the moment. Because, first of all, the batsmen of England, they're looking fantastic. Who does it matter who they're playing is Not at all. They're just smacking them all around the park, right? So... Uh, it's it's going to be a very dangerous game to look out for for India. I understand, but the thing is that I, I have that confidence of the Indian bowlers that 
it's a different ball game right but england is scoring more than 4.5 per over but you know you know please uh, face shami who's in my opinion bowling at at his peak in in this yeah. period going to play bumrah with his experience and not to forget what siraj did in the first four test matches last time in we visited england so i i, I won't um, keep them aside but yes the likes of uh, best or stokes uh, root these three are going to be very important i still have the confidence that we can get the openers very cheaply but those are the three those are the three uh, middle order batsmen who are going to chip in and score runs and i believe Butler is still not available, right? So we're they're going to go out with Fox or Billings. They're playing yeah. the same thirteen members, so I don't think they're going to make any changes. If Fox doesn't rec- recover from that COVID, then they're going to go with Billings, and they're going to go with the same lineup which we they faced in the last or oh, test match. I don't think so. They're going to make any changes at the bats. Yeah, I think it pretty much will be the same lineup. Uh, I mean, first of all, just looking at the new debutant, I think what's his name, Jamie Overton, is that it? He almost scored a century. I think Jamie Overton. I think he's gonna as well. He was looking fantastic as well, and you know, playing in the home conditions as well, he's gonna be a um, threat to look out for. And England, they're looking all round solid right now. But what I'll go with is, you know, India has the better bowling side at the moment. You know, as you said, Shami, he's been fantastic in England, right? Even if you look throughout this English series and the finals against New Zealand. he was a man to look out for for every team that he's played against and uh, he's looking fantastic the kind of swing he's producing the cross arm seam you know that he's producing that's the fantastic action and the kind of lengths he's bowling it's uh, right himself but again if he does nail those yorkers in the right speed he is going to be a yeah, big threat and siraj he's slowly starting to come up right he's uh, nailing those bouncers and that's going to be deadly for those batsmen and as you said the openers they might just go out early but the three batsmen root best and stokes we should just keep them silent right so the first 20 overs of both innings of the english you know batting sessions they are going to define who is going to win this so if india bowl well in the first 20 overs you might see a big change coming from how new uh, england did against new zealand because at the first 20 overs They got a good start. They got like fifty, sixty, seventy runs. But if they, you Then know, they we slowly keep them under pressure, you know, maybe like thirty, forty runs, fifty runs at max. That's gonna be good. And this Indian bowling lineup does have the potential, especially the paces. So I have the hopes on the paces. But uh, let's see, you know, how this English batting lineup will do. Because it's not every day that you're gonna play against a New Zealand bowling lineup that you can smack every time. <laughs> it's a new That's bowling correct. side. they are experienced and they, you know they have the experience playing against these guys in the IPL as well so you know most of these guys play in the IPL so they know what to do and in english conditions they played against them last time as well so you know they have a bit of experience and if you just keep that into use you might see some success here that is correct okay we're going to look into that and before we conclude the session let's give our views and let's have the final say of the playing 11 you want to pick final call of the playing 11 Oh, well Roy and Kale are and available are they so we can't pick them. <laughs> uh, for, uh I'm going to go with the Shubman Gill as uh, opening. Mark Agarwal is opening so that's my two openers. Uh three it has to be Pujara. There's no way India is going to keep him out so he is automatic fit. Virat Kohli he is going to be in. At number 5 it's going to be KS Bharat since uh, Ajinkya Rahane isn't available. Six is going to be Pant as always. He is a sure shorter. He's been fantastic in tests. Number seven, it's between Ashwin and Jadeja. Who knows what India will pick? And then from there on, was Shardul, Shami, Bumrah, and Siraj. So give your views on any one of the spinners if you had to take. I had to. It's going to be Ashwin. If I had to, I'll pick Ashwin. So you're not going with Vihari, right? Ah. Uh, It's looking difficult. See, it's all between um, Pujara and Bihari, but I don't see India picking uh, Bihari. You know, Pujara, however out of form he's been in, India have never had the slightest doubt to drop him, right? So he's going to keep playing. Okay, and talking about my eleven, I I would make few changes if, uh, from yours. So I I wouldn't directly. Um, I would directly chip in with. Uh, I won't play Mayank straight away for the flight because he's going to be off practice. So I'm going to play Vihari along with Shubman Gill at the opening slot. We have seen him opening 
against Australia and the Australian conditions. I would just see it in case he can see on the new ball. Pujara, unfortunately, number three with Kohli at number four. Swapping Bharat and Pant, whoever suits at number five and six. In my opinion, I would go with Ashwin at seven. Or I would go with two spinners and three paces. Ashwin, Shardul and the three paces. Or maybe I will go with the two spinners and three paces. So looking at the conditions, because we definitely cannot ignore the fact due to the batting, due to making the strong batting lineup, we cannot ignore the fact that we do need 20 wickets to pick up. Mm. And we need to keep England under 500 combining both the innings. So definitely, I, I, I wouldn't ignore that fact that uh, playing Jadeja just to strengthen the batting, we cannot weaken our bowling because Shardul Thakur is not a wicket taker in my opinion. We are playing a genuine all-rounder because we do not have Hardik Pandey completely 200% fit. But when Hardik gets fit after the World Cup, we will see him back in the Test and series again. That's my squad. But right now, as Shardul is playing, we have to play because we do not have anybody else. And Shardul is not in the same form which he was in the first four test matches last year. So I don't think so. He did not have a very good IPL for the Capitals too. So I don't think so. Um, we are going to back Shardul. We still are going to back Shardul because we need a bowling all-rounder. But in my opinion, I, if I had to choose, I will choose two spinners and three paces. And the questions that's coming up from pitching off some says, if India wins the toss, what they will do? I think it's a no-brainer then. I'm going to bowl first. I want to chase. I don't want England to chase this total down, whatever India put. In, a, in deciding test match, you want to bowl first? See, I mean, the kind of form that England been in, you know, they've been chasing down totals very easily, whatever the total is, right? So, uh, I'm going to have to chase. Uh, it's uh, okay, You're going to chase. For me, that's a no-brainer, personally. That's correct. But I, I would still go with opening first and batting first because... It's different ball game, as I said. New Zealand, India, it's uh, different. And another question is number five is going to be KS Bharat. He's going with Shreya Shahir. What do you say? Shreya Shahir, one innings, he has played 64 in the practice games. While the reason why I'm saying Bihari, Pujara, Gil is because it wasn't a warm up game I'm seeing. It's, it's almost uh, everybody's naming it a gully cricket game because. Pujara is playing for India, playing for Leicester side. They batted three innings, Bihari and Pujara. So that's why I'm seeing that India backing both of them, right? So do you want to chip in with Shreya Shahir number five or are you going to stick with uh, Kays Bara? I mean, I said Kays Bara, but I forgot Shreya Shahir was also there in the squad. It can above any of them. I mean, I think India won with Shreya Shahir in the previous games as well, right? I think he was In the okay. home series versus New Zealand. Huh? In the home series versus New Zealand. In the home case, series. Right? I mean, KS Bharat also, you know, he played well in the practice games as well. I'm going to stick with KS Bharat personally, but it doesn't matter who is number five. We don't have Rahane. He is the man That's I right. trust. He, anyway, he's out of form, but, you know, somehow in the crucial stages, he tends to perform well. But he always was our savior. That's it correct. can be KS Bharat for me. And who's, who is the person that takes the gloves? Is it Pant or... Yeah, it's I fun. think it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah, because we need a leader because we do not have uh, Rohit. So I think, and do you think Kohli will be involved in terms of chipping at the fielding and fielding restrictions and setting the fielding? The the, uh, the letter C will only go to Jasprit Bumrah, but we all know Virat Kohli is just going to take the charge. There is no chance he's going to give a chance to Bumrah as well. So it, it that just the letter will go to Bumrah and Virat Kohli. He has the experience. He knows what to do. He's just going to just talk to Bumra and make him do the changes and all right. So, I think it's going to be all experience. right. Yeah. It's going to be all right. So, let's see. Let's fingers crossed. Let's see if India can get a victory and make it 3-1. Otherwise, um, a draw will also be a good thing for us. Hope England doesn't bash us the same way they did to New Zealand. Let's hope for the best. And we will again definitely join after the test match is over. 